Long ago, a particular plant made the most impossible of journeys to bring the champion's descendants together. But at what cost? During the journey, one of the descendants turned, doing something unspeakable. Murdering and devouring Sir Cluckington the Sixth and Seventh. But the time has come. These crimes no longer will go unpunished. Deep inside the Yiga clan hideout lies our execution grounds. But getting the prisoner here is no easy feat. Yenobo and our hero take their journey down Death Mountain, across Hyrule Field, and through the Gerudo Desert. To only be greeted by a vertical incline, which Yenobo cannot scale. That is, until today. Due to the Goron shape and what can only be described as his magnetic bonds of steel, Yenobo, while moving, can actually be lifted with a chest up small inclines, allowing for the entrance to the hideout to be reached. But inside, Foreseeing his demise, Yenobo stops following, requiring yet another trip and another chest. This time, the chest is for pushing the prisoner into the hideout. Overcoming this hurdle, only to be greeted by stairs, that the prisoner slides right down, preventing entrance to the hideout. And because he no longer follows, his buns of steel are no longer magnetic. But there is another way. There is always a way. The execution site can be reached from the mountains, but this means taking the prisoner quite literally over a mountain by climbing the mountains from behind, passing by treacherous cliffs, and carefully sliding down in a most specific spot. Our hero finally brings the prisoner to the execution site. This is madness! Madness. This is Sparta!